Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Have you ever had an image or a set of images that you wanted to share with a person or even share with the world, but you do not have a website? Well, if you have an Adobe Creative Cloud account, you could share those images very easily. And the good news is you do most of the work from right within Lightroom. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, what you need to do first is get all the images that you want to share and put them in a collection. You can see over here, I have a collection I called Offsize Prints. It has 12 images in it. Then what you need to do is you need to sync that collection with Lightroom. Now, a lot of people don't do this, but when you do have an Adobe Creative Cloud account, Adobe gives you a certain amount of uh, space in the cloud. And what that allows you to do is save images to the cloud. And the way you would do that is you would put all of the images that you want to share with the world in a collection. And as I mentioned, I have this collection of size prints. And if you go over and look at the far left-hand side, you can see there's kind of this weird double arrow. That means that this collection is synced with Lightroom. And Lightroom means Lightroom in the cloud. So this is synced to the cloud. Now, the way you would do that, like I have this uh, collection called To Work On. And you can see on the left-hand side, it is missing that double arrow. So this single image is not synced to the cloud. If I want to do it, all I need to do is click on this little square box on the far left-hand corner, and you can see that it's syncing to Lightroom. And now you'll see that it has that weird double arrow. So this single image in this collection that I called to work on is now synced to the cloud. So either of these two collections, I'm now able to share with either a person or even share with the world. Let's go back to the off-size prints. And by the way, if you're setting up a collection, let's say you just click plus and you create a new collection, you could sync it with Lightroom right away. So as soon as you're creating this collection and adding images to it, you could chuck this box and sync it with Lightroom and the images will automatically be synced to the cloud. Now, back to our off-size prints collection. I want to share this with everyone. All you need to do is right-click right on it and then go down to Lightroom Links. And you can see it says Public Link at the top and there's three items there. Two of them are grayed out. Then it says Private Link. You could just uh, uh, you could view this privately by just clicking View on Web and it will open up your browser and it will have your images here. These are the images we already synced to the cloud. Now this is private viewing. No one could see this but you. And you can see on the left-hand side, it has some Lightroom functionality here. But we don't wanna share all this with everyone publicly. We just wanna share the images. So let's go back to Lightroom Classic. Let's go back to that collection and let's right-click right on it. Let's go down to Lightroom Links and we're going to go down to Make Collection Public. Click on that. And when you do, you can see it's making it public. Now, it will take a second or two to do. And what you could do is just right-click again on this, go down to Lightroom Links, and when it's ready, you'll see a public link. View on web and copy public link. So, as I mentioned, this could take a second or two to do. From my experience, it's usually done in less than a minute. So you just need to keep checking on here, Lightroom links, and there it is, it's done already. Now you could simply view it on the web or copy that public link. Let's copy that public link. Let's go back to the web browser. We still have this, uh, our private viewing here. Let's override that. Let's get rid of this and let's put in this public link and we'll click the enter key and you'll see there is the collection off size prints. They're all here. You can see all that stuff that was on the left is missing now. Uh, so anyone viewing this can't really do anything to our images. They are only are allowed to view them. And then what they could do is click on one to view it. And then they could go down here and you can see there's arrow keys down here and they could just scroll through them this way. Or they could use the arrow keys on their computer, uh, left arrow and right arrow keys like that as well to see these images. Now, if they do have an Adobe Creative Cloud account, they'll have a couple icons over here. And this is only if they have an account. You could click here to show activity and you can see that there are no comments. 
they're allowed to leave a comment. So they could come in here and leave a comment or they could favorite it by clicking on the little heart. Now, again, they need an Adobe Creative Cloud account to do this. If they don't have an Adobe Creative Cloud account, they'll only be able to look at them by paging through them. Also, there's this little eye icon. If you click on that, it gives you some information about the file. You can see this is a TIFF file. You can see the resolution and you can see the date this image was taken. And as you page through, if you leave that eye active, you could see you'll get info for each of the images. And that's it. That's as easy as it is. So you just save that link that you copied and you're, you're able to go back and recopy it. Just go back and uh, right click again on the collection that is synced. Go down the Lightroom links. And then copy that public link again. That's it. And then you could copy it, share it with the world, and everyone will be able to view your images. And they'll stay up there until you unsync this collection. When you unsync this collection, it will be um, removed from the cloud and people won't be able to view it. To unsync a collection, all you need to do is click on that weird double arrow again and you'll get this and you could click on stop syncing and then it will stop syncing it to the cloud and it will remove the images from the cloud and also that link will no longer work, that public link. So that's how you do that, very simple. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.